good morning friends um welcome to my youtube channel channel today today's video is going to be, be talking about um some things like we're going to learn about apis core features of apis and um, the different types of apis so let's dive straight into it so i saw some um uh, resources online regarding this and um let's 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 see what it looks like let's look at it so so from here you can i'll drop the link to this in the description from here you can see that um api stands for application program interface as we all know it's just a uh, an intermediary between two applications that provide access for two applications to talk to each other now one good part of it is that it's reusable and it is um, like a language agnostic meaning it is not uh, dependent on a language it's, can be used irrespective of the language or the platform is being built on it doesn't matter so um so let me just explain what this api does the api is like uh how will i call it okay you are in a restaurant and you have the kitchen you cook in the kitchen and we have you seated in the restaurant now the cook has you made an order so there's going to be a communication between you and the cook to be able to get your order served and that's where the waiter comes to play so the waiter is actually the api that actually makes a communication between you and cook and makes your order complete so i make a request for um for payment so the payment request is actually sent via an api to the company that's providing such service so that is the way it works so let's now go down to it um so an API reusability has actually made it easy. You don't need to write anything. Just look for a company that has such services. Pay them and use the API to build your own platform. It's very easy, right? So that is the way it is. So now, now let's look at it. Uh, abstraction. So API speed is actually improved because we don't have to, we don't care about language. We just have your API. Once you have your API placed on a good server and you have written optimized codes, then you are good to go so that is the way api works so it's actually very fast and uh, now okay let's go down i'll drop this so you can read it up now there are different types of api based on their um, use case ticket so if they are the first type is based on uh, let's go down to the types here the first type is based on uh sorry but purpose now the purpose of using the API is what we call um, the is um, is the type of, the types we are going to be looking at. Now for the first one is system API. There are APIs that handle the core features of an organization, the key features like your um, accounting system, like your uh, how do I call it uh, human resource management system being used, like the uh, payments. There are so many um, core services like proprietary databases. There are things that your system, your organization actually use for itself. That like they are the key uh, basis on which the company is running. So those APIs are actually called system APIs. They are actually pro process APIs. Those APIs are, are APIs being used to run the day-to-day -day activities of a company. For example, now an e-commerce site having to um, complete orders, check order, check shipment status and other things. Those are process APIs. So we now look at experience APIs. These APIs are actually built for your thought, for your comp for your customers to be able to have a, a feel of what um, you can use it for to build platforms for your customers or you can use it to give your customers to be able to build a platform that suits that has the same uh, that suits what they are building their their platform is going to be like so that's just it so it's actually uh have a business uh attachment to it so it can be paid it can be free it can be a freemium to get now so that's what experience um uh, experience api is to now there's also management management strategies api based on management strategies now this one is like how will I, um it's like you are building it based on the, the business attachment of your company now let me let me explain it very well we have the standard api these are apis that the company built to be accessible by other 
of this to get you know, by everybody or developers users everybody can access this these are external apis they can be free they can be paid and an example is the um google map api there's also so there are several open uh, apis like there are so many several weather apis news apis there are so many of them that makes uh life easy for developers and they are free so now internal apis are apis being used within the system to get them not to be shared they are not sharing it out so we also have the partner api so this partner api is built based on uh, a negotiation process between two companies so mostly they are b2b and you can see such type of uh, thing within the health sector most health apis are restricted within um, a particular niche between the health niche. so if you are not a health um, partner you can't be able to assess because of the type of information that is being passed across those apis so um we have based on architectural styles we have the rest apis so that actually returns json xml and they are not uh, dependent on the platform in which they are built we also have the remote uh, protocol remote procedure calls so these apis are protocol agnostic so independent it's independent on the type of protocols that you are actually uh, so using to get now uh, support so many protocols so um, you can read it up here so example is the soap graphql grpc now there's event driven apis now these are apis that are actually um, written that actually based on events when somebody's typing you see the dot 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 then typing so now this is a request that's been made and upon typing another api is being called do you get now so that's just the flow within it so um there's so many this thing here so i think we'll stop here if you have any questions please do let me know and share like comment and um I wish you a uh, good luck in uh, building APIs. Thank you very much.